Welcome back, everybody. Now, Tommy is going to show us barbell complexes. Yes. So you take it away, and then I'll attempt it, the average one. Yeah, so we were talking a little <laughs> bit before camera came back on, and, and Aaron asked me about... Uh, if I don't have a barbell, can I use dumbbells? Yes, you can use dumbbells with, with this movement. You don't have to use a barbell. In fact, I didn't bring a barbell. I brought like a training implement instead. Uh, it's just easier to bring around. and Yeah, a little you know, lighter, easier yeah, to carry. <laughs> and it gets, it gets the idea done. It gets the job done. But you could use a medicine ball. You could use... Uh, Really, you could probably use an atlas stone. An atlas stone is just a like, a big that? concrete ball, basically. Okay. So and whatever you have, really, it can be done. Yeah, anything that you have, and so it's just fun. So, so we're gonna do five movements. The five movements: uh, deadlift, bent over row, power clean, front squat, and overhead press. Okay. And I do them in that order because okay. they flow better. Okay. So, and the way I'm positioned when I move from one movement to another, and you don't have to, it just feels better for me that way. Okay. Is it so, more of a natural movement from one to the other? Yeah. I'm going to so, jump back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, deadlift, there's a sumo deadlift and conventional. I recommend doing a conventional deadlift for this because it just, it flows better. Okay. So, you're going to get set up. You'll get your deadlift. Stand up. That's one. Go down. Do a bent over row. That's one. Do the power clean, hit it up, get under it, stand up, do a front squat, go down, this come so back much up. To remember. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then you got your overhead press, which if you're using weight, you can substitute it for like a push press. Okay. Which the difference overhead press is going to be a strict press overhead. Okay. A push press, you're going to drop your hips and your knees and throw momentum in through your hips and your legs okay. to push it up. So, but this, I mean, today, that's not necessary. You <laughs> yeah. can do them all together. And that, if, all doing each of those is If we didn't tell people one. this was light, I could have looked like I was really strong. We could have that's said That's 100 like, pounds. Yeah. Ooh, muscles. Uh -huh. Okay, so my first one. Deadlift. So your first one's going to so be I'm a deadlift. Taking, so I go you'll, straight from the ground. Yes, go straight from the ground. Pull it up. That's one deadlift. Okay. Then go back down. Oh, bent over row, right? Mm -hmm, to do the bent over row. Well, so when you do the bent over row, you are going to want to flex your elbows to bring the bar to your chest. So you're still going to be bent. Oh, okay. I was Yeah. Thinking. Exactly. Just Woo! like that. Okay. Then from that position, you'll do the oh, power clean. Down. So you'll hop up, drive it up with your hips. Yeah, essentially. It's and hard to, that's hard. That's a it's, hard one to do without weight. Exactly. It is hard to do without <laughs> weight. But one of the ideas of weightlifting, they say, if you can do it with light weight, and you can concentrate on it that way, you can do it with heavy weight too. Okay. So then you go to your front squat. Good. And then your overhead press. Yay. And that's one rep. So the idea is you do 10 of those. And do you do those a lot faster when you're doing it? Um, I take my time doing them because I want to focus on my form too. Doing all those things are very demanding metabolically anyways. So if I'm going to do five sets of 10 of those, I'm going to... That's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's not a little bit. <laughs> so if I do three sets or five sets of ten, I'm it's really five movements. I'm doing one rep of each for one rep yes. in the complex. So you really, you're doing like 50 reps in one set. And this is enjoyable. I like it. It's competitive. <laughs> I feel like maybe if I only did, I don't know, two or three sets, that'd be good. Well, it's a it's an option. Yeah. And and someone who just who if someone really loves running or really loves biking or cardio that way, then yeah, that's totally fine. And you may never want to go away from that. But you'll have some people that don't like doing that and they find it torturous. Yeah. And they'd rather do this, which is it's torturous in its own way, too, as well. It's, I mean, it, you're doing 50 reps for each set. That's a lot. I know, I'm kind of getting, mm -hmm. I've been running for so long now, I'm not burnt out, but, you know, I'm getting tired of it, so yeah. I've been trying to think of different ways to yeah. spice it's, things up. <laughs> it's always good to have something else, like a little side hobby, almost. I, it, it's not really a, you know, like a, almost like a side hobby of fitness to to keep things fresh, and you can yeah, do balance that. It out. Yeah, exactly. Like, so you're running all the time. If you, you like running, you could do rowing instead for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. We can. So.
But Tommy, thank you. We'll yeah. see you next week. It'll be fun. I'll be here. He'll be here. Hopefully with Drake too. Everyone, stay tuned. I'll be right back.